Stevens here with a request to look at a, a particular satellite imagery. This one comes from the MODIS. It is part of NASA's, uh, I suppose when I was a kid back in the 70s and 80s, it was uh, an evolution of their Landsat program where they had high resolution, uh, full color imagery of the Earth. And, and as a kid, even at that younger age, these were always some of my uh, favorite movies or favorite things to look at when I was uh, in science class, whether it was Earth Sciences or whatnot. But now we're seeing these satellites, these high-resolution sentinels of Earth, picking up these persistent trails. These chemtrails for some and simply water vapor trails for others. Regardless of how you want to identify them, they are in the sky and they are there in abundance and they have little zones that they are particularly interested in. This particular imagery, we're looking at the tail end of a cool front, or uh, essentially a place where a Pacific storm is coming ashore, and we have some tropical Pacific moisture coming in from below, but it is a very, very narrow, narrow band. And it is fascinating how just at the boundary of this cloud is the visual extent, largely, of these trails. Here's essentially the end of the cloud, but yet the trails persist above and beyond, and they are spreading. So in this particular instance, if you're in Arizona, New Mexico, the Four Corners region, extending into western Colorado, you're going to see what would be a gentle cirrus shield literally covered with these trails. And what I found interesting in this particular one you can see how they begin to spread. In this location right here where the trail ends, we have another one that crosses. So as we see these trails deform from the ground, other aircraft come along and display some kind of an interest in how these trails are spreading into a canopy of cloud cover. This particular instance does not happen just once. This is this afternoon, 2nd to uh, 3rd of January, UTC time. We can see another low off the coast of California, very similar to this earlier image, very, very similar situation, where we have a low spinning off far northern California, and then this just little skinny band, where part of it is drawn to the north to wrap around the low, the rest of it is being pushed to the south. As the cold air incurs and digs out an additional trough in the western US states, the US states, we're looking at the water vapor imagery, in particular the 6.5 micron infrared. And there's a couple of zones that I'm fascinated with today. Another one is here, where we see additional trails uh, essentially literally littering this whole zone where the atmosphere is going to have to make a sharp bend to turn northward to be folded into the storm. Here's another one where we have a weak high sitting off here, active trailing here just off the immediate Columbia, the mouth of the Columbia River through northern uh, Washington State into Vancouver Island. And then this one even more prominent through Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. This, this location is covered in these particular trails, but it is where the jet stream tends to do rather, let's just say, aggressive bending in direction. Here's the NAM, or, or uh, the analysis of the jet stream for today. And you can see the jet off California comes and makes a hard, hard turn to the north, and then comes back and makes a hard turn back to the south. It is in these particular locations where we are seeing the atmosphere doing this incredible bending, where the reds are highlighted. This is vorticity, where we have speed or directional shear, um, where the atmosphere is, is changing in direction where you could send let's just say you could set a pop can in here and this pop can would spin like a top because of the these ribbons of atmosphere allowing for that kind of vorticity and this on the leading edge is where we tend to find the most aggressive storm development another imagery will pop off the west coast as we get towards sunset look into the shield off of Washington and Oregon coast and you can see the trails, you can see the crosses. And in fact, from about this location on and through here and westward, all of this is a thin sear shield that has a large contingent or component of its condensation nuclei that have been contaminated or have absorbed what these aircraft are leaving behind. And then there's more off the coast of, we take San Diego here, or, or Los Angeles, well off the coast, there's additional trails that are showing up where the jet stream is doing this very aggressive bend in direction right there, this one right here. So we have, um, let's do another satellite imagery. This is more water vapor. And of course, here's the refresh as soon as I come on over. Let's do the surface map, map while that thing loads. 
coming off the coast of California, cold high pressure over the Great Basin, Idaho and northern Utah in particular, but it is these long stretched out storms that end up with very skinny, um, how do I want to say this, very skinny plumes of moisture like this that are drawn into it. They're very, very skinny. So we'll come back to this one now that it's loaded. I know there's a bad frame, so we'll, we'll click that one out. Come back, do some enhancement a little bit, slow down the animation, and then uh, let's slow it down just a touch more. And then we'll be able to see all of the individual trails. This is water vapor imagery, so in the top half of the atmosphere, we're seeing these zones, these plumes of moisture. There's another very, very strong one right here that was just really accentuated by, by, by jet aircraft trails. And that's just about been folded in or drawn in to this developing low here. And you can see it coming on up and drawn through. And then here's our skinny little, you can see it getting, kind of get, getting skinnier as we have dry air coming in from the north, pinching off this storm uh, that comes in from the west. And then more trails working into the south, but the ones here, let's stop. The ones in here are most aggressive. In here, they're very thick. And then we'll watch this zone right here, and we'll go frame by frame. And we can see the clouds thicken up due to the addition of the condensation nuclei that these contrails, that these chemtrails are adding to the atmosphere.